So we are a fintech startup, and we believe that the capital of fintech is definitely London. Because whenever we have a question about financial issues, regulation, all the important people, all the important organizations are just one tube right away. And the financial services landscape is very mature, uh, and we still have passporting rights into Europe. The amount of incredibly talented people in the UK, in London itself, is just something you don't really find somewhere else. I chose to start a business in the UK because the UK is one of the best entrepreneur-friendly countries uh, pretty much in the world, to be honest. Uh, so far, Brexit has not had any impact on our business. If uh, anything changes, we will react. However, what we see is that there's a certain uncertainty in the market and also concerning our employees or people who are actually applying to us. Our concern is what happens to the freedom of movement of people, talent, etc. And we just hope that politicians are able to work out a way that UK and also the, the, the rest of Europe can actually work together. Fundraising in the Brexit uh, environment, uh, there, there was a slight dip after the announcements were made, but there's still plenty of capital about. Brexit hasn't directly affected our ability to fundraise. In the build-up to Brexit, we did a couple of early pitch nights, and we noticed that the market uh, was taken by, um, by shock, uh, and as a result, a couple of investors pressed pause. But we've been through the Startup Bootcamp program, that's helped us to test and iterate and take our business to uh, a more advanced level. So we're quite excited about where we're at now. There's a lot in the media saying it's gone down. I think it's naturally going down, especially in fintech anyway, uh, because there was a slight sort of bubble up uh, recently. I think future-proofing a business is business 101. Uh, and so we have a very clear direction about what we want to do. But at the same token, we've engaged with parties outside of the UK in Europe so that if Brexit does have um, an unnecessary effect that we've got a plan B in place. Post-Brexit there is definitely positive signs in, in Europe for the fintech world because the, the European regulators are taking a, very much a lead of the, of the UK in terms of opening up uh, the regulation, being clear on regulation and, and giving more lightweight regulation to the fintech world. Our only concern is there's a lot of Me Too fintechs all copycats of each other. So it'll be interesting to see which of those actually become the dominant player in each market. We believe that there are positive signs for fintechs post-Brexit because money and data doesn't know any borders. And so the problems which are being solved by fintechs in Germany, France, Poland or any other countries are also problems which consumers in the UK have and vice versa as well. There's a huge amount of positivity around, um, uh, around fintech in general. Uh, Brexit is a little blip in the road. Uh, startups are naturally lean and agile, and so any curveballs that are thrown our way will hopefully take in our stride and help that to work to our advantage.